Well, what's going on, guys? So for this week, I continued working on my uh, different types of orbs that drop from enemies. So my loot system. And I decided to make two more enemy types so they could drop the uh, different elements, orb elements. So starting off here, um, these are this is like one of the first few mo first model I made, this beetle. And I just turned it into a water beetle so it drops water orbs. And uh, so I'll go up through here and uh, kill him and it drops a water orb. So what I also did was make it so if you're using let's say a fire spell it also has a chance to drop um, you know whatever element type it is so water and whatever the spell type is if it's the last element of damage that's dealt. So I just set it for 100% but it'll probably set it to like 25 or, or less percent. But you can see here it drops a fire orb and a water orb. So at that time it, it dropped, and if I use, let's say, um, a water spell, I have Ice Orb here, missed. It will generate two orbs, because it's the spell as well as the, the enemy. Alright, so here's the the uh, the guys, the uh, other NPCs I made. First I made a lantern fly with a little light on its back, and I'll make it darker here so you can see. Animated them, rigged them. Pretty happy with the result. And there you go, lightning orb. And then they go right into the inventory, lightning orb. And these will be used, as it says here, for purchasing um, powerful spells from the the different mages. Um, then over here, for a fire, basic fire enemy, I made some some fire ants. So over here, just a regular ant. And then I, I reskinned him to uh, to be a fire ant. So it's the same model, obviously. I just put a uh, fire texture up, oh, and it's the next thing. Okay, so it drops that, and it drops the fire orb. If I use a fire spell, fire orbs, and if I use a lightning spell. Stuns them, and then uh, you can see here it drops the fire orb as well as the. I'll change the, the light, so you can see the lightning effect. Oh. And if it kills them, it's not going to show the effect either. All right, so that's basically what I've been working on. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. We have the lantern fly for the lightning, and we have the ants. And over here is a little bit of an ant hill, which I think I'll make where you could descend down, and it'll be like kind of like a mini dungeon to start the game. And there'll be other fire ants and things down there. Maybe I'll have like an underwater cavern for more water enemies. And then I'm not sure about the lightning. Maybe the same kind of thing, just in the the testing scene. Uh, so for next week, I want to make it so. Over here you can see I made a few houses and lightning, water, and fire mage. And I want to make it so you can actually purchase spells with these currency. Right now I only have things you could purchase for gold. Um, but that's, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.